and it, it is oh lord <laughs> and it is confirmed that I Who knows that I am 39 weeks, one day, it's Thursday, we'll see. And she also, I decided to get in the shower, it is, um, I don't even know what time it is, sorry for the background noise, that's my bathroom fan it's like three something I'm just in a squatter position just got out the shower and tub with spray I went in the boys shower because they have like little takedown spray so I'm spraying the hot water on myself. I felt a couple of contractions there, but it was more so pressure type contractions. But yeah. So, even when I just sat down, it feels like he's low, but not that low. And I know, um, Although it's not that painful when I'm feeling these contractions because I have not updated in a while, but I recently went to the hospital because my sciatic nerve was acting up. They having a contraction monitor. And the same things I'm feeling shows up as contractions on the contraction monitor. Except for it was like 10 to 15 minutes apart on Monday. So today is Thursday, August 15th. We'll see if you want to try to come a day. But if anything, I'm trying to make it until about 5 a.m. So the boys, aunts that teach at the school can get them in, take them, take them to school because they take the boys to school because they go to the school that um, I teach at. And it's best, you know, not to wake them up right now and take them to the hospital. It's easier to get them ready. When they wake up, let them get picked up, and then Cliff and I go to the hospital. So, yeah. That's what's going on. I'm gonna try, I tried to see if the hot water would chill anything out or whatever. Not that I wanted to chill out, but I needed to... Um, Wait a little bit, get a little bit later in the morning. And I'm a little tired too. So yeah, I want to get a little bit more um sleep. So I have some type of energy to get through natural breath. Because Lord knows if you're exhausted, it's hard to get through that uh that birth. Even though I went fast last time, yeah, every pregnancy is different. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a uh, little bit and let's see if this is me laboring it's August 15th catch y'all in a bit hey y'all so as you can see um, I'm not at the hospital so what I'm trying to do is just wait until my doctor's appointment is 9.04 my doctor's appointment is at 11.15 a.m. I think I'm going to go I'm going to leave the house around like 10 to go um walking before I go to the doctor's appointment and uh see what they say because the doctor's appointment is actually at my hospital where I would labor so I'm also going to grab all the things out the house and put it in the car today is Thursday August 15th and I am 39 weeks and one day. So 
This is the longest I have ever been pregnant. My other two boys came in weeks 38. And, um, yeah. So, we'll see what good old Christian me wants to do in a little bit. But, yeah, and then I'm going to change my bottoms for the doctor's office. I don't really want to have on those shorts going into the doctor's office. I just put this on because it was way early in the morning. So that is what's going on. I will continue to update you guys in this birth vlog. Um, if you are wondering what I plan on doing for the hospital, my birth plan, which is in my head, I'm not a person that want to write anything out. I just let the people know what they can see for themselves, basically. But I'm going. I'm trying to go all natural. Went all natural last time for Camry, who's four right now. Um, I got to eight centimeters with Caleb and then got an epidural. But had they checked me before giving me the epidural, then I would have just kept going all natural. I really felt like for Caleb, I thought I was at like two centimeters or something. And uh, requested an epidural, but I really wasn't. So yeah. So Cameron definitely was um, all natural. And I'm trying to let Christian be all natural about the contraction right now. So, as you can see, um, and then I can, I know the difference now because they're not Braxton Hicks. Because, um, in the hospital, these that I'm feeling now, they showed up as, um, like, big contractions. So, I might just have a high pain tolerance. Well, I do have a high pain tolerance, but, yeah, I know they're contractions, but, yeah. So... It is what it is, but I am tired. I bet y'all can tell that I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> but hopefully, you know, you stick with me through this vlog, and I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go try to film what's in my diaper bag, being that I am in labor. Hopefully, so hopefully, he comes today or tomorrow. Who knows? So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I am back, and this will be a very, very short video. Um, Ooh, I did leave the my doctor's appointment, which I was having contractions at, um, around 12 o'clock. And it, it is, and it, it is, oh Lord. And it is confirmed that I am in early labor. So if you're watching this video, this is right before I um go to get labor. Basically, I'm about to... I think my anxiety levels are up because technically I should be, I'm, I'm supposed to be taking a nap right now before these contractions, you know, might kick in. Um, but anywho, I went to the doctor. I told him, I was like, I feel like I'm in labor or whatever because I kept getting um, contractions. They did not hurt, but I kept getting contractions. And um, she was like, okay, well, let me check you or whatever. So she checked me and I was four centimeters and she was like, yeah. You know, it looks kind of TMI. She's like, it looks kind of, um, like, swollen down there. Like, you know, like, babies descending or whatever. You know how, y'all, y'all know how we feel. Like, what, no, she said, look like, it's a lot of pressure down there. Which means swollenish, whatever, you know. So, um, yeah, she checked me and it hurt. And she was like, yep. She said, I feel the sack or whatever. She was like, you're four centimeters. And then she was like, then she, uh took her finger and went around the baby's head or whatever. Um, basically stripping your membranes. That's yes, basically so what she, she basically stripped my membranes and that did hurt or whatever and caused and it's causing a lot of bleeding or whatever, so I took a shower and yeah, but that caused a lot of bleeding after the fact. And then she said, you know, I want you to eat a light lunch and uh, come back to the hospital in a few hours when your contractions, you know, kick back in and they get closer. So I just was like, well, okay. So Cliff is at work and, um, he's about to come. Clifton is not Christian's dad, but that is who I feel comfortable with in my labor video. We can get into that later on, but Christian's dad is invited after I get baby out, you know. But main concern is to get him out um, safely and as comfortable as I can. I am. My plan is to do all natural. I don't know <laughs> if I will give in to an epidural, honestly. 
but that is my plan so I'm just here to tell you very quickly that I am on my way to labor I'm I'm progressing so he should be here the, the doctor said he should be here tonight but um once she stripped my membranes and checked me my contraction stopped so Maybe when we get here, I'll go walk in and see like if it jump starts the contractions or whatever. But I think I'm gonna take a nap first before I do all that, so I can have the strength to get through these contractions and get through this natural birthing process. So yeah, but that is it. That is my very short update. But I am vlogging. I have been vlogging since like 2 a.m. from feeling contractions. So I just want to put this up, telling you that I am in labor and stay tuned for a vlog hopefully it's not too much going on that i end up recording but yeah um i'm gonna try to get as much footage as i can or whatever or you know definitely when a baby comes and stuff like that so yeah i'll see you guys later